Hey Bharat and hello team iGAN. My name is Abhishek and this is my entry for the iGAN MSI's Rig Me Up Challenge. Now I've been a subscriber of iGAN for almost 8 years now. I still remember the time when I, when I was about to buy my first Android phone. It was the Samsung Galaxy S, the i9003. And the first unboxing video which I saw by an Indian YouTuber, an Indian tech YouTuber, it was from iGAN. And I've been since a subscriber of you guys. Now, I'm not asking for anything else. This is just my big fan moment that I was about to express you guys because my small tech channel is pretty much inspired by iGAN. So when iGAN came up with this Rig Me Up challenge, I was really excited to take part in it. I'm thankful of the team iGAN and the team of MSI for giving me and thousands of other participants this opportunity of a lifetime and to win that, that dream gaming rig. Now, without further much ado, let me show you guys the backbone of Tech Altitude, my gaming slash video editing rig. First things first, the workhorse. Now, this runs an Intel i5 6th generation processor, coupled with a 16 gigabit of RAM from Corsair, a 128 gigabit of SSD, and a 1 terabyte of normal hard drive, a 2 gigabit version of the MSI built NVIDIA GTX 960, and it is all connected with the MSI B150 Mortar motherboard which is a military grade motherboard and it is the best from MSI. It has the stock cooler for the processor and for the cabinet we have a Cooler Master CM693 cabinet with a 500 watt of power supply from Cooler Master as well. I've assembled this in 2015 and 5 years on this setup is still holding on really well with time. Next up is the monitor. It is the Acer ET271 27-inch monitor which has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. The response time of this monitor is 4 milliseconds and the refresh rate is 75 hertz. Now these specifications are not that great for multiplayer gaming but it still serves the purpose. I got this monitor for only 8000 rupees on the Flipkart's Blick Billion sale so it's really a big Bargain. For Synaptics, I have the Logitech MK220 wireless keyboard and mouse. Now this is the longest serving hardware right here. I bought these in 2011 in the month of May and almost 10 years on it still works really well up until now. I use this for gaming, typing and video editing and this is a really great piece of hardware. The mouse pad is from Amazon Basics and it is a medium size mouse pad because I like the half keyboard on the pad and the half keyboard off the pad. Yeah, I'm that kind of guy. Coming up towards the audio system, the speakers is something which are really old. My dad bought those and I don't even know their name or model number. I just know that they are made by Mitashi and for a 2.1 audio system they are really loud for my room and has a great deep bass out audio output. The headphones of choice is the Audio Technica ATH M50X. Now these are a really great pair of headphones and I use it for pretty much everything from gaming to listening to songs and pretty much everything you can either think of. Now the pads of this headphones are wearing off as you guys can see i use it for pretty much everything and i'm struggling to find the pads of these headphones the authentic ones so if you guys someone is watching this video and you know where i'll get these uh, drop a link below in the comment section that will be really helpful help your brother out for those new pairs of pads that is it for the gaming rig for mobile gaming i have the poco f1 now this is the 8 gigabit variant of the POCO F1 and 2 years on it's still keeping up really well. Handles pretty much any game I throw at it. I absolutely have no complaints from this phone. Considering it was priced so cheap and I got it for only 16 or 17 thousand rupees. I don't really know. But the Snapdragon 845 is really good and I've just removed the MIUI stock uh, user interface and installed the Lineage OS because I prefer stock Android over any other skin. A small tour of my gaming and work setup has come to an end. Keeping my fingers crossed to win this challenge and once again thank you so much the team of iGAN and MSI for giving me this opportunity to showcase my gaming rig 
and to show you guys what this small channel is working on right now. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with others, subscribe to iGAN and subscribe to my channel as well. That's been it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.